Bir bırakmam diğer edin. Diğer ne? Şavya. Evet Şavya. İnternet diyese. My name is Shavia. I am from Nagano. I did my graduation in BCS from Akhari Degree and Business College Research and Services Division. I did my intermediate at Divera Junior College and I did my schooling at Santa Mas Grammar High School. Coming to my family, my family consists of four members and my hobbies are reading books. My strengths are I am self-motivated, hardworking person. Okay, Shavia, uh, what are your technical skills? My technical skills are Java. Okay, so full stack Java. Yeah. Okay, what is mean by Java, Shania? Java is a platform independent and a high level programming language. It is also a robust and object oriented pure programming language. It was introduced by, developed by Sun Microsystems in the year of 1995. Father of Java is James Gosling. Firstly, uh, before Java, it was named as Oak. Present, so the James Gosling and their, their team was decided to change the name of Oak to Java. Okay. What is class and object? Uh, class is a logical entity. Um, class is a group of uh, objects. It is a blueprint of an object. Uh, coming to object, object is a real time entity. Uh, it, is, it has state and behavior. Uh, take example of dog. A dog has a state uh, like uh, color, breed, height. Uh, coming to behavior, uh, it can bark, uh, sound, run, eat. Okay. What is the difference between method overloading and method overriding? Method overloading is when two or more methods in a class, same class, uh, having different in parameters like the order of parameters and type of parameters and number of parameters should be different. Uh, coming to method overriding, uh, when two or more uh, uh, methods in a same class having the uh, same parameter, uh, redefining the functionalities of uh, child class into uh, child class into parent class. Okay, what is the difference between C++ and Java? C++ is a dependent language. Java is a system independent language. Uh, C++ is a system programming language. Java is a application programming language. It is, it is based upon web applications, window applications, enterprise applications and mobile applications. C++ is, uh, supports uh, multiple inheritance. Java does not support multiple inheritance. Uh, C++ supports pointers. Java does not support pointers. C++ supports uh, unions and constructors. Java does not support unions and structures. Uh, okay, so what is constructors and uh, stacks? Constructor is a special type of object is initialized objects. Concept, uh, constructor is called when an object is created. Uh, to create a constructor, uh, we need a new keyword. Mm, there are three types of constructors. Uh, copy constructor, parameterized constructor, and default constructor. Uh, coming to default constructor, if there is no pa no parameter, uh, uh, is called default constructor. If with parameters is called parameterized constructor, uh, pa copy constructor. If a constructor creates a copy of an object, is called copy constructor. What is easy relationship? Easy relationship is also known as inheritance. Uh, it, uh, inheritance is the main advantage of inheritance is uh, reusability. Inheritance is nothing but acquiring the properties of child class to parent, and uh, the main advantage is reusability. Um, explain keyword is used. The uh, there are six types of inheritance: single, multiple, multi-level, hierarchical, hybrid, and cyclic. Okay. What is access modifiers? There are four types of modifiers. Uh, private, public, protected, and default. Mm -hmm. Coming to private modifier, the private modifier access uh, inside the class and also outside the class. Uh, coming to uh, default, the default modifier um, access within the package. It does not access outside the package. If the uh, ability of access level is default, uh, coming to protected, the protected modifier is access within the package and outside the package to class. 
if uh, if the access outside the class to class it does uh, does not access to the class uh, it doesn't uh, access the package mod pair and uh, coming to public uh, it can access everywhere uh, inside the class and outside the class and inside the package and outside the package okay what are uh, translators and its types translators are uh, converting high level programming language to uh, machine code machine code is nothing but uh, zeros and ones zero uh, zeros are nothing but um, absence of electric pulse one one is nothing but presence of electric pulse there are three types of uh, translators uh, compiler interpreter and assembler uh, interpreter is nothing but uh, transforming high level language uh, source code to machine code example is python ruby and basic um, com coming coming to compiler uh, compiler converting source code to machine code uh, examples are um, java c c++ etc um, coming to assembler assembly level language to source uh, machine code these uh, assembler we have uh, monomonic code that are uh, pre pre file letters are uh, used example r sub mul and start or stop okay uh, why are pointers removed from the java pointer scratches pointer slips confusion to the programmer pointer scratches the problem to the programmer so uh, pointers uh, the data so pointers are removed, removed from the java okay is java 100% object oriented programming language no uh, why can i know the reason Uh, Java is not purely uh, object oriented programming language. Why? Because uh, in Java we have a primitive data types that are int, float, double, character, boolean, etc. Uh, these are uh, not objects. So uh, we can say that uh, Java is not purely 100% object oriented programming language. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Nice meeting you. We'll get back. Okay. Bye.